the Mongols had put the end for prosperity of Mahiranaha. The leader of Mongols, Chinggis Khan, with his army had appeared on the borders of Central Asia in 1220. The Mongols were nomads of steps. They had got an extremely mobile cavalry. There were a lot of them, and in a short period of time, Mongols had invaded the whole Central Asia. Even the biggest fortified cities could not stand against onslaught of Mongols. Samarkand was completely destroyed. Bukhara was demolished and burned out. Many big cities of the Central Asia had completely ceased their existence and are no longer on the geographic map. A great amount of people had died. According to the legends, the land became red of blood, and since then, each year in spring, the fields of Mother and Mother covered sweat, as blood by a carpet of blossoming while tulips in the memory of victims. After a terrible Mongolian destruction, the Central Asia was thrown back on several centuries in terms of its economic, cultural, and political development. The spirit of revenge was growing in the violence of people. Inhabitants of Kol Mavirinakhar gathered under the banners of resistance. And essentially, there was the need of a leader that could lead the rebels. And there was one. His name was Jalaladi. He was the youngest son of the last Khorezm Shah. Khorezm Shah officially passed the authority under the small island in Caspian Sea. Jalaluddin had gathered a group of brave warriors and spent the rest of his life in the system struggle against Mongols. Genghis Khan himself was afraid of flying groups of Jalaluddin, which lead a real game in a war against the Christus. Genghis Khan, in one of the battles, found by the courage of Jalaluddin, threatened to his son, said, at the best father who has such a son. Now, Jalaluddin Mangubi became a national hero of Uzbek people.